Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about FPS and NVMe drive. How your NVMe SSD hard drive can affect your FPS. So guys, according to this lady from Tech Tester, 250,000 subscribers, more than that. She's claiming that at least in Forspoken, which is direct storage game, one of very few, NVMe drive can affect your FPS. And by quite a lot in some cases, like comparing to this one, it's more than 10% in 1% low, like 13% or something. That's a huge difference. That's a massive difference, guys. So this is interesting. Is she right? Guys, she wear glasses. So it's obviously she is very smart and she cannot lie. Is she wrong? I don't think so. She looks too smart. I don't think so. She is wrong. But let's investigate because I wanted to test. Maybe she's right only on her PC. But what about other people? How it is for other people? So when I was talking about this subject, I used exactly that slide from, from the same lady. And I mentioned about this, how it affects stutters and FPS, because I already checked a little bit and somebody asked me, Actually, big shout out to Green Alex 89 because he asked me very good question and give me idea for content. And for YouTubers, content idea is like the most precious. So thank you so much. And he asked me, is this FPS advantage is only for direct storage game, which is extremely good question. And I wanted to investigate and I'm investigating right now. It's like a, like a Sherlock Holmes, you know, of, of YouTube. So let's find out. And by the way, it's not only for FPS, it's way more. And more importantly, it can affect stutters. Like nobody likes stutters. Like stutter is like the worst. So le let's find out. So another guy here. Now, when I was trying to find the, the data from for benchmarks, almost nobody does FPS benchmarks. Like NVMe benchmarks mean how fast the game loads. Like almost 100% of benchmarks are about loading times. But I was looking FPS. Nobody was looking for FPS. Like th even this idea doesn't exist. People cannot comprehend that NVMe drive can affect your FPS. That's suppo not supposed to go together, but apparently it does. So I've got another benchmark here, which is by the way, not perfect because when he start, it starts the same time, the benchmarks, but because of different loading time, it starts like generating frames at different moment so between these two benchmarks it's not big difference but it's still not the same frame this frame is a little bit behind slightly behind this one is still on the black screen so we can ignore but even though he's got more fps on generation 5 drive interesting but again this is for spoken so it's the same game with direct storage however when i was doing more investigation this guy here got the opposite he's got more fps with generation four it's like i'm going crazy now what's going on I, you've got more fps here but in general he's got more fps here it's just again it's a different frame you know this this is like delayed and i think he's got most here but anyway doesn't matter where he got more or less it means there is a difference why there is a difference it doesn't matter if he's got more here maybe he's got more here but then if he's got more on generation free drive why is that i wanted to know now I was getting like even even more curious, like, you know, the case is getting like thick, you know, like in criminal uh, movie. Look, in this case, this guy, and this is properly done benchmark because it's perfectly synchronized. It's exactly the same frame. He's got most FPS over here. Look, and especially low. Look at the huge difference. 75 FPS 9. This is, look, look at the graph. Stutters, stutters, stutters. How come? This graph is so flat, stutter free, and even this one is better than this one. What's going on? Another graph, this guy got best FPS here and least stutters on NVMe drive, which is, may, makes sense. But why? But why this one is better than this one? Why it's got big spike here, but still better 1% low. Still. Another one, he was, this guy was testing generation four and generation five and it's got quite big difference. They're not exactly the same frames, but when you watch the video, you can see that he's got quite a lot more FPS with generation four drive. Again, why? And it, it, it shouldn't affect FPS. Why it even does affect FPS? But even if it does, why generation four is faster than generation five? His guess, because I asked his, this question, he thinks that it's probably thermal throttling because generation five drive can get very hot. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but you know, it, it's interesting. So maybe generation five is pointless. 
but for other people it generates more fps <laughs> so interesting now this guy here done a lot of testing i think he's like focusing on nvme drives in general i really like his channel i already subscribed and liked this video and whenever i ask him a question and i ask him quite a lot of questions he always politely kindly answered to me so he showed that in alan wake this is generation 5 pci generation 5 nvme the game like in short bars like in every like i don't know like 10 seconds use 100 percent of the drive but the game doesn't stutter so the way the games is optimized it seems it avoids stutter at all costs but when normally games are optimized this way like for example control when control have problem like with vram it doesn't stutter but what it does it doesn't load all the assets like the texture are lower quality it doesn't stutter but some texture are lower quality and then maybe after some time it pop you know and it's nice quality now so that's the way this game is optimized it doesn't affect fps in this game but it does use a lot of nvme bandwidth interesting another from the same guy he was testing starfield and he find out something fascinating very interesting because starfield has traversal stutters and normally traversal stutters or actually all kind of stutters are contributed to cpu bottleneck that's what people think because you got drop in gpu utilization from 100 percent to like say 90 or even less and people said oh this is cpu bottleneck because that's what usually is but he find out that's not the case not at least in this game and it's actually nvme drive bottleneck so he's showing an example here when you get in a situation like that when it's 100 utilization of your nvme drive you've got drop of gpu utilization which means there is no data to compute or it's you know coming late now when you have faster cpu it can mitigate some of this problem so even if the data is coming late to compute faster cpu can compute it faster and reduce the stutters when slower cpu can make the problem even worse so it still looks a lot like cpu bottleneck but you know that's the problem with vram ram and nvme memory you know problem it all of them can look like cpu bottleneck which is not exactly cpu it's the memory problem and one guy on his comments said something yes using very fast nvme it's seven gigabytes for sequential reading when we're talking about nvme drive advertisement you go into amazon or newark and buy an nvme drive that's the speak that is advertised sequential reading but that sequential reading is for big files like video files but games are using random small files and in that case it's only 100 megabytes it's many times slower so this guy pointed me out into the right direction what if we focusing on the wrong data maybe this data is not what we need maybe this data is what we need for games and pci generation 4 5 it really doesn't matter we need to focus on this one because guys let me show you something this is gtx 1080 ti it's quite fast even today it's quite fast it's got pci 3.0 when for example the intel one much slower intel using faster pci lane but it's not faster gpu it's just using faster lane so maybe that's the same thing with nvme drive and maybe guys just the speed alone like you know the data the number is not everything we need because guys this is one of nvme drive optimized for games and in that case optimized for games means means also different firmware yeah big speed but this is the speed that we don't maybe need and direct storage api so there is like a firmware like a software that affects you know the performance in games again very interesting and what i was digging more because like you know okay this topic is becoming really interesting so i want an answer what drives we need what drives can give us more gaming performance if it does but it seems it does it does affect the fps it does affect starters so answers give me the answers so i find this guy here and i was avoiding this uh, video for a while because i was expecting unfortunately i was assuming i shouldn't assume but i was assuming they will be just checking load times moving data only but the benchmarks they did were quite interesting and now i will show you quite a lot of benchmarks from them because they give you the perspective so first benchmarks here and look this is like normal benchmarks you look at this oh the big graph generation 5 yeah then you generation 4 but look both are generation 4 and look at the big difference between them yeah then you have generation 3 another generation 3 yeah but look it's different here why is that and what but this is the big files yeah the big files that maybe we don't care for gaming maybe we only care for this one and this trend is reversed but you may say yeah but this was very small bars 
yeah, but what if the small bars are just small comparing to this one, but they're way more important. And if they are important, it means that this drive here is the fastest one. Or maybe this drive here is many times faster than this one. What if this is important, not this? Okay, let's check another graph. Yeah, we're focusing on that. You, be, you see big graph and your eyes straight away go there. You know, like attention grabber. But what if this is just smoke and mirror? What if this is important? What if this affects gaming performance? And this drive, the orange Intel one is the fastest one. And this is the slowest one in that particular case. Because as you can see, we have two generation four. And I'm glad they gave us two generation four because they, you know, they show how big difference between the same generation can be. Massive difference. It's like generational difference even though it's the same and the orange one is the faster another slide and whoa what's going on why is it so big what, what, what's that big what's that what's that intel yeah and you look here okay this is not but this is odd what was that but you check this one here look it's small but this 277 is many times faster than any other whoa and look how slow is the hard drive here it doesn't even exist, you know, it's like, look, look at the tiny, what, this is nothing, wow, okay, but this is Intel, okay, Intel, hmm, I didn't know Intel makes good uh, NVMe drives, I check another one, and look, another diff, d d weird stuff, this is faster than uh, generation 5, in that case, here, look, faster here, the generation 5 is faster here, but here generation 4 is faster, another uh, weird one, Check another one, PC Mark 10. Look, this is the fastest. Wow, this is the fastest, the orange one. So Intel again. And here is the tiny one, yeah, the fastest, the, the smaller, the better. 29, the fastest. Hmm, another benchmark, 3D Mark. So now like gaming, you're talking to me like gaming language. Which is the fastest in that case? Load time. Look, this is significantly faster. Faster. Yeah, the Intel one, faster, 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 faster. The fastest one is the orange one, except moving game, like the whole game, but like installing game or load the game. This is faster. This is the fastest. Why? This is like old, no? So they were also talking about the temperature and it seems like at least for him, generation five, when he was using either his motherboard heatsink, which is big, or this one here, in both cases, it wasn't thermal throttling at all, was far from it. So this big heatsink was giving him 41 degree and this like from motherboard heatsink was giving him 39 degree, which is far from thermal throttling. So at least for them, it wasn't a problem. So this is not about uh, temperatures. But guys, what is this orange one? I had to know. So there are two types, this, this Intel one. Look, less than one terabyte, $300. What's that? $300 for this one. Or look, this is, a, this, this is cheap. This is cheap, guys. Less than 5,000. And you've got free delivery. You don't need Prime. So you save money on Prime membership and you still have free delivery. So very, very good deal. So what, what, what's even that? Why that doesn't even look, what is SSD? Like SATA SSD? What's that? And what's that? What, what, what is like, why is using PCI lane for uh, graphic cards? What's that? Guys, these are very fast drives extremely fast but not in a way like normal drives they give instant reaction like this guy here he said he made a video he made few videos actually he's saying here of why i've been obsessed with intel drives yeah fire cell he made few video about how amazing this this drives here i'm not talking about this 5000 ones but all of them all of them all of them are amazing and he was showing how instant like you press a button and responsiveness of your desktop of everything is instant so maybe what intel is doing is the most important for games maybe we don't need fast memory for uh, moving big files for gaming we need something else and i hope i wish like big channels like gamer nexus hardware unbox and maybe daniel owen they start testing nvme drive for fps as well because this is fascinating this is mind-blowing i'm shocked maybe you're shocked as well because nobody is talking about and apparently it makes such a big difference but this is also not easy to test because look, you add another drive to your motherboard, you install the game on the different drive, you test and what is that what you do? Maybe that's not enough because Windows is on a different drive. Maybe the, the main drive where the Windows is installed also affect the game 
that is installed on different games because you've got this cache uh, folder data you know on the faster drive this is lots of questions that we need answers we would love to i would love to have these answers you know there's a, a lot of things that i would like to know we we would like to know you know as, as gaming you know maybe all the starters are partly caused by the drives bad drives that have very bad uh, small fights read speed maybe that's the case another thing what somebody mentioned i don't remember where exactly when i was making the investigation the developers i think said that one way to reduce starters to use more vram when using fast memory there's less starters the problem is nvidia doesn't provide enough vram and they made us believe that vram is extremely expensive when in some people's opinion the vram is the least expensive is the least expensive to give you more performance but in games like for example starfield because the developers are so afraid to use more vram because people don't have vram nvidia doesn't give enough vram so the game is more demanding on cpu and gpu power so think about this maybe giving more vram is just cheaper than asking you for more cpu and gpu power that's question as well questions it's lots of questions so guys uh yeah for me it's mind blowing i wish like channels like gamer nexus daniel owen uh, hardware and box and many others start testing nvme drive for fps i wish that would be amazing guys uh let me know what you think as well because i think it's fascinating i think for, it's mind-blowing and guys see you in the next one